Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon as the... Marine. We'll play the Marine. We'll play the Marine. And I'll switch my gun and I'll be Night Marine because I think it's funny. And uh, now I have to remember how to actually play with a keyboard and mouse here. Right click to dodge. This is not Hades. Let's do it. I will uh, probably never again play with controller <laughs> in uh, in Gungeon because that was definitely a little awkward. Already I'm like, wow, the screen is like much more uh, snappy. It, it doesn't float around, make me nauseous just kind of watching the the camera smoothly scroll around as I'm as I'm maneuvering. Oh, it's much better. Much more enjoyable experience for me. Sometimes I I, I do play co-op. Enter the Gungeon with my friend Chris. Uh, but when we do that, he's the one who usually plays with the controller, and I play with the keyboard and mouse, so... I guess I, I have had some additional experience with the, the weird kind of floaty camera, but not as much experience with the controller. I don't think I've ever... Outside... Let me say this. Outside of... It's funny, so let's play with the controller. I don't think I've ever played Gungeon with the controller, so that was definitely an experience. <laughs> Namezilla says, Marine was my first main. My first main was the pilot, and then I realized that the pilot sucks for that purpose and that the convict is better, and then I started playing the convict as my main character for Gungeon, and then I learned to love it and never went back. Although the pilot is probably still my main for uh, for BCDD 20T. That or the convict, it's, it's, a, it's a tough, it's a tough choice. I had to catch myself right now. I was thinking, I haven't yet figured out what my starting item is. <laughs> Wrong run. Wrong run. Oh, good lord. Emily, you have a good night. Thanks for being here. Pilot is my favorite, says Navezilla. Never get the not, never got the point of the convict, honestly. I under, the thing is, I think that maybe the pilot is is the best character because of the fact that he has so many benefits that benefit you over a long run. However, I feel that the convict has more benefits that benefit you over the short term. So the pilot getting more ammo benefits you the more guns you have. Cheaper shop prices benefits you the more you buy things over a long run. Two active items benefits you when you actually get multiple active items on a long run. But the Convict has so many benefits early that I like playing her because she makes the early game a little bit more fun and interesting. That's kind of my thinking on the matter. You know, you have two guns, one of which is a gun that's mostly beneficial early because late game it sucks, the sawed-off shotgun. You, uh, you have the Molotov, good for killing certain enemies and uh, helping you avoid damage and helping you to just get through rooms faster. We save the water barrel, let's go. <laughs> and uh, I think people, un I think I also underrated it for a long time, but I think the, uh, the convicts photo is underrated because if you think about it, when do you want damage? When you wanna kill things quickly, when you wanna kill things quickly, when you take damage because if you kill them quickly, you'll take less damage. So the Convict has a little bit of kind of built-in bonus survivability, which is kind of nice, especially for like BCDD 20T, but you know, even just in a normal run. I think if you want to get good at Gungeon, you should try to play more Convict because you learn a lot of lessons. It's a very lesson-rich character that has like a high skill ceiling. And then if you just want, you know, a character who starts with one armor, you play the Marine. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. I don't understand why the Marine is is a popular pick. Because he starts with like one ammo drop? Like that's, who cares? Because he starts with one armor, you get hit once, it's gone. Because he's got a cool helmet? I mean, you got me there, but. Like at least the pilot has some cool benefits. And the lockpick, too. I completely forgot about that. Abe Rant's TM. 
Abe's rants that he's, you know, said over and over again for the past, like, 800 hours of Gungeon, but you gotta listen to it anyways. <laughs> uh. Dude, you know, here's the thing. Contact immunity, very good. Contact immunity and going down to the second floor, very good. Buying two keys and then opening up the red chest, hoping there's a good item, galaxy brain. This is the second time we've started with this item from a red chest. I think it happened like two runs ago. So you know what? I'll take it. Worse accuracy, but slightly, slightly, slightly more damage. Sure, why not? You know what? At least it won't affect the accuracy of the beam. Not all, uh, not all beam weapons are unaffected, you know, like the, um, the beam from, I gotta remember it. What's the item? <laughs> the beam from the Morning Star. That is actually affected by, by spread, so that would be a little bit less accurate, which is strange, but. I play Marine because of the passive effects of most of the items in the Gungeon. Yeah, but it's like 5% better accuracy and charge speed. It's like, oh, oh, yay. It doesn't benefit me enough that I even notice it half the time. Um, hey, I wasn't complaining. <laughs> I'm not saying you were complaining. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm, f I'm, uh, what, like, here's the thing. I'm bad at talking most of the time. So sometimes I just kind of fall back on something that I've talked about previously. So I'm like always acutely aware. Oh, I'm just repeating myself. Oh, I'm just repeating myself. I've already talked about how the convict is superior in every possible way to any other character in the Gungeon. I'm just repeating myself. So it's just, it's like just being self-aware about it. <laughs> Scouter, you know, if we get the ammo, I'll take it. And by ammo, I mean money, which is in the form of ammo. Still a little unsure about how that works. Oh! You know, at the very least, one thing that, that I like about the science cannon is that because it travels to full distance quickly, you don't really waste any ammo by just stopping shooting it, changing your aim, stopping shooting it, changing your aim. Oh, you dick. There goes my no-hit run. Now I have no helmet, and I'm breathing in this poisonous air! <gasps> there should be a, uh... For the Marine, there should be a, uh... Oh god, I can't even remember the name of the movie. It's not Terminal Velo Velocity, Total Recall. There should be a Total Recall game mode where if you don't get armor for like five minutes, your eyes just kind of like pop out of your head and you go, Aah! There's so many movies that I gotta watch at some point. I was even joking with my friend Chris. I had someone uh, tell me the other day that they found it. I think it might have been Chris. He found it amusing that I always call him my friend Chris, as opposed to any other Chris that you guys know that I don't. But uh, <laughs> my friend Chris and I were talking about it the other day and we were like, we should just like have a movie night at some point. I know you, you do movie nights like with Discord or whatever, but like we should just, watch some movies, like, I got a TV, I got a futon, we can Netflix and chill. It's not like you've been to the movie theaters recently and I've, you know, got a bunch of movies that I wanna watch again. Like, we should get the old and the new Total Recalls and the, then compare them. Because I still haven't seen it, so I haven't seen the new one. It'll have to happen one of these days. Okay, 
We're almost done with the floor. It's like two rooms away. Been a bit of a long floor, but I mean, we haven't had any good guns. I mean, we could we could get out of the oubliette by like six minutes if early on in your run you get like a good room clearing gun. You don't. It's gonna take a while. So I am noticing though that the eye patch is helping us on this floor. Bullet can normally die in four shots. They're currently dying in three. So even if it's a small benefit, it's a small benefit that we're getting benefit out of right now. Also, the Chancellor is here. I guess I forgot to kill him. Oh, he got me. I didn't see, oh, you know what? <laughs> I didn't see him, but I think what happened is he avoided the grate. I think he avoided the sewer grate and he flanked me. Highly unusual. Highly rude as well. God, I only killed your king. He's dead, it's not like you're gonna bring him back by stabbing me in the back. Mr. Stabby. Do, 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 do. Oh crap, I gotta be, uh, I gotta be wary of that. I'm gonna get DMCA matched. I don't even know if I can, uh, I know Estrange Med has lately been asking me to play a lot of Ori. I don't know if I can do it anymore. Gonna have to title it Ori in the first playthrough forest. Smiley's Revolver, I like it. It's a fun gun, it's a good gun, and moreover, now we're the pilot. <laughs> uh, let's pop a blank in here and then get some ammo. Probably has a little bit of poor accuracy, but you never know. Um, how many chests are here? Two chests, we haven't opened either one. We'll get the scouter first. I know we can't really afford the key anymore unless I get super lucky, but you know what? What can I say? Oh, okay, that's trash. Cell creep, cell creep, cell creep, nope. What can I say, I wanted it. Oh, it's 26 credits because we have lower shop prices. I like completely forgot about that fact for a split second. I'm like, 26, that's a weird number. I wonder what's making it cost 26. That's highly strange. Cabbage boxes, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Thirteen damage. So we're killing them in two shots with this gun. Pretty good. I will use this gun. One. One. <laughs> A little overkill, but you know what? It's okay. I like any gun that could theoretically kill one of those uh, D20s before they can really do anything and before I have to reload the gun. tough, because like, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to the accuracy of the gun as well. I don't know, we might be able to kill enemies faster and with less ammo if I had a little bit more accuracy. E.g. if we didn't have the uh, eye patch, but like it's, it's going well so far. Well. Highly unfortunate. We will spend a blank on this. There's our key. There's our key. If only we had that before I blew up, open the chest, but you know what? <laughs> My mind was focused. Dude, even killing one of those guys before they have a chance of getting away, I feel like that's pretty good damage. I feel like I have a hard time killing jammed key bulletkins and whatnot. Nope. 
Okay. You know what? I don't see any gun that's gonna be better than this one is. I was also kind of expecting there to be a health bar. I was hoping there would be one. I wanna see how close this guy is to death at any moment. No, I dodged in the wrong direction. There goes our armor. <laughs> that's why I wanted a health bar. I would feel more confident about like, just standing still and shooting him. And there's the, egg. yeah, okay. You know what, fine. You know what, take my armor, see if I care. You got it, good job. Mr. Blockner, you didn't really block much, you just mostly shot at me. You shot shield-shaped bullets, but still. I think you should be able to dodge into those guys to kill them. <laughs> Sheriff of Nightmore, I like your joke in chat, but in order to keep it PG, I will not repeat it here. <laughs> the Strange Med, thank you, welcome. One more month for a full year, oh my god. You're right, thank you for the, thank you for the sub. Maybe in one month, one month, one month, I'll play some Ori for you. I made a joke about it a second ago, but I guess you weren't here for it. Um, I don't know if I can play it. I, well, I'm just gonna repeat the joke. I don't know if I can play uh, Ori. I might have to call the playthrough Ori and the first playthrough forest. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> That'd be cruel to make me wait so long, says Med. Oh, you know what? You know me. <laughs> Dude, a 53 plus 33 damage package, it's pretty good. One, 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 one. <laughs> R2G2, well. Is that cell creep still around? No, aw, oh, damn it. That's fine. We got a key, we got two keys. I'll open one of these. No, honestly. And honestly, to try to find something better, we're gonna do a little bit of munching. Navezilla says, can't wait for the new Isaac. Same here, um, I don't know when it's actually gonna be released because you know it didn't have an actual release date in, uh, in Steam or anything like that. So we're just kinda twiddling our thumbs waiting for that. That was a miss, but it worked anyways. <laughs> All right. All righty then. Pretty easy, flawless to get there. But I almost screwed it up, so I'm glad I didn't in the end. Uh, let's get the heck out of here. No rat necessary, no armor. Uh, anything else to buy in the shop? You know, we could buy the key. We could actually buy Gun Knight Gauntlets or Table Tech Stun. I think I'll buy the stun. We have two keys. I don't think we need a third one. Namezilla says, I think I saw 31st of December somewhere. That's what it was currently listed at, like on Steam, but it I don't think that's the actual release date. I think they just put it there, there so that they could say it's at the end of 2020. I think it's not gonna be released on that date. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is actually gonna be released on the 31st. That'd be cool. But why the, why the 31st though? Why not the 25th so people can play it for Christmas instead of hanging out with their family, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'll take the hit, I don't care.
How are we cursed? Oh, Casey, we just picked it up two seconds ago. I haven't touched it, but I don't know if we're, if we're gonna touch it for a while here. Oh, God. <laughs> that's how that's how long of a period of invincibility you get, by the way, when you flip a table. You might not expect yourself to just be able to tank that many bullets, but you have a long period of time of invincibility when you flip a table. So you gotta you gotta flip those tables, man. I need time to finish the first ones anyway, says Nabezilla. The first Isaacs? It's all just DLC that stacks on top of itself. You know, there's nothing really to finish before you keep playing it. Hacker. <laughs> Hack the planet. Hack the gungeon. Kinda running out of ammo pretty quickly on this gun. I wish this had more ammo. That's about the only thing I wish out of uh, Robot's Left Hand, because otherwise it's like a, it's a very good gun. I was about to say I wish it also had better accuracy, but I think that's on me. <laughs> Let's be honest, we know. We know why it has low accuracy. Oh, hey, look. Remote bullets. We can negate all of our accuracy woes. That seems pretty good. Abe has LMAO box. What? Are you insulting me? This is why I don't read chat. You know what? I will use my moon scraper. If I don't scrape the moon, who's gonna? Thanks, my dumb R2G2 boy. You just aggroed all the enemies. Okay, I never said moon scraper was good, just that I was gonna use it. TF2 hack script. I have no idea. <laughs> TF2 aimbot thing. As someone who doesn't play, I don't get it. And doesn't know. I don't play and I don't know. I don't pretend to know. Is that room always like one gun nut and the master hand? Because I feel like this is one of those rooms where there's supposed to be more stuff on it. Like maybe there's gonna be more reinforcement waves or something, and there never is. Don't walk away from the pit, you jerk. You're supposed to fall into the pit. Well, we're done with the floor, huh? This is a relatively quick floor. I don't think we're gonna get enough money, though, for the uh, remote bullets. I think it was like 63 or something. You know what? It is what it is. If we don't got the money, we don't got the money. I just walked into the bullet. <laughs> There's no reason to walk into the bullet once I killed that enemy and I just, I just stood there like a freaking fool. You know what? Nobody's perfect. Hello? Should 
should probably be using blanks, but no real reason to here. Bum, 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 bum. I thought you were an enemy. I thought you were a bullet. <laughs> well, 53. It wasn't 53, was it? It was 63. It was 43. Oh, oh hell yeah. Now, that does mean we're out of keys going down to the next floor, but you know what? You know what? Now we have perfect accuracy. That's gotta be worth it, right? I mean, that totally looks legit. <laughs> Actually, it looks pretty, pretty bad though right now, because what I need right now is some sort of a room clearing gun. Okay, at least we're gonna have some ammo. It also does more damage, you know. Remote bullets is a damage upgrade. Now we're doing eight instead of six, or a seven rather. Is that a big coup? Not really, but it's something. Okay, now we actually have plenty of ammo, which is nice. At least it's still a, a relatively fun gun to use. Now all we need is like eight different, uh, eight different ways of making bouncing bullets happen and then the, we'll uh, really have some good use out of this gun. <laughs> Don't you have a Smiley's Revolver? I do, but I still, um, I forgot whether or not the item was 43 or 53 or 63 or something from the shop, but I'm glad I could afford it regardless. Oh, thank you. Big help. My little R2G2 friend. Yunk. What is this? It's an item, and by item I mean a person. And by person I mean a chicken. So now we got a chicken. It's a chicken, not a turkey. Honestly, I'd probably prefer a turkey. And not just because, you know, it's post Thanksgiving. And I didn't get my, my turkey fill or anything like that. No, 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 no. I just want more ammo. If only we started as the as a pilot. If only we started as the marine and we had a, an item that gave us ammo, huh? If only. Is this our other item room? Got both of them right here, huh? Nothing good in them, but hey, they're both here. Two blue chests. I mean, it, I, I think at this stage of the game, technically we could still be getting uh, brown chests, but on the next floor, it is the minimum payout, two blue chests. So, I mean, might as well open them, right? If it's the minimum expected payout over two floors, at least we have two keys. Okay, and we have a lot of money, so. We got garbage. We got very, very good item. One hit and one miss. That's actually not that bad. So we'll dump this. We'll also dump, I think at this point, Charmed Bow's hot trash. Honestly, I'm not gonna use Casey. Use Casey, use Casey. You use Casey. Come back and tell me how it worked. Honestly, I'm also of the opinion that a brown chest might be worth it. I'm just hoping for like a rainbow or something, but I'm always hoping for rainbows. Oh, at least we got the key back and then we can sell this for money. So, you know, yeah, it paid for itself. It really did. There we go. All right, let's go do this. 
Garbage, you mean lich finisher. To hit him with a baseball bat? It is pretty fun. Um, actually, there's still one more chest we could go open. Let's go do that. I kind of hate... Oh, you know what? It's not bad. kind of hate the idea of going down to the last floor with no guaranteed keys. Because the shop doesn't have to have keys in it. It can have HP or ammo or whatnot. So, having no guaranteed keys is a bit of a unfortunate place to be, but... Just to get an item now, I think, is worth it and more fun and interesting. So there we go. Alright. Got him. Oh, the boxing glove is Lich Finisher? <laughs> it's probably worse. All right, you know what? Honestly, I tell you what, I tell you what. We're just gonna go and dump this. And then we're just gonna go dump this. Give me more things on the next floor, please. And we actually, you know, we have more money, so. Fire immunity is OP on Wallmonger's fire phase. He never attacks directly in the middle of an area. I'm not gonna say fire immunity is OP because it's really not. Because all you have to do to avoid the uh, the attack is dodge once. So it's it's not a complex attack. I don't think the jetpack is worth using though because it's just finicky. And I don't like having that finickiness in there. You know, we should actually get rid of some other items like this. And I'll be honest, I'm like half of the opinion to just do another floor to get some more items and stuff. So you know what, let's let's do it, why not? Here, have, have some HP. I should have given it to you, but you know what, that's my bad. We should have plenty of money. And let's, let's do one more floor, why not? Ow! I punched my chest. And by chest, I mean desk. Why did I say chest? because I was reading chat, and Latem said it's funnier when you go down to the next floor and you find two black chests and don't have any keys. You know, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll get uh, seven leaf clover from this floor and then we won't get any keys and then I won't be able to open anything. And then you'll have a nice little laugh in my, at my, at my plight. The plight of the Gungeoneer. And I'll be real sad. Never mind. I'm a god. Really just wish we had bouncing bullets on the run. That would be something that would be amazing. I know we had bouncing bullets relatively recently, but it's one of those items that I almost want on every single run because it's just fun. It's not about being good or powerful or OP. It's just, it's fun. Okay, we are like really out of ammo though. <laughs> Taste of sweet welcome. Long time no see, how you doing? Taste of sweet. I know you, right? I have like, actually I have like three people I'm familiar with with sweet in their name. I just hope I'm not confusing you with someone else. <laughs> You're good. Well, good. I'm I'm good that you're good. This is a bad gun to be using for this. Why did I not dodge? And how did I not take any damage there? Some insect. 
We got him, we got him. Really was hoping for a turkey at some point though. Kinda need it at this point. Uh, ammo's running a little low. Got him. Got him. Please give me ammo. You gave me the scrambler with a scrambler synergy. It's a good scrambler synergy too, I'm impressed. We also got roll bombs, which sucks. <laughs> but at least we got the scrambler. That's like, that's the dragon and the lich, all three phases without having to, re to re rearm it. So that's like ammo sorted. Sort of sorted, really. I like that this gun does two and one damage. It's highly unusual. A little bit of a bad dodge, whatever. As Mama always says, whatever. Thank you. Um, let's take it for robots left hand. I'll just keep, I'll keep using this, I don't care. I'm not gonna be using mutation for very much longer, so I don't mind using all the ammo for it right now. <laughs> I suppose one thing I should also be considering is that the um, bullets from my friend, they're also gonna home in on the cursor, I believe. So we gotta keep that in mind. Well, we gotta keep it in mind to like a small extent. We just gotta make sure that our aim when he's firing is good. Fine, you know what? Eat a bomb. Eat a bomb for breakfast, see if I care. I have four HP, that's not a lot of HP to have. Mimic? No Mimic? A giant red chest in a secret room that's not a Mimic? Aw, oh, you kidding me, you dick. I hate it. How are we gonna open chests then? What are you doing to me? Well, maybe we'll get lucky. Find some way. Life uh finds a way. As they uh say. Dude, killing one of those guys in one clip without having to reload. That's a lot of damage. Smiley's revolver is a good gun. Uh, wait, wait on this. Might as well do a little bit of exploration first. No reason to rush it. Really. <laughs> okay, at least we got one thing of ammo, which can go into the Void Core. But I was like, really? So many chests? God. Did you see that rubber bullet when you enter the room, it disappeared, says a strange med. I did not see a rubber bullet can disappear when I entered the room. However, if it disappeared, it's likely because I shot it to death. So, I wouldn't think too much about it. Gunslinger, blue bandana, black hole gun, impossible to lose. You can lose any run. <laughs> 
But it is a good combination. I mean, black hole gun, abyssal tentacle, absolutely. I mean, it turns the black hole gun into the ultimate weapon. Map complete. All right. Hey, dude. Bouncing bullets! Thank you, Map Man. You've given me what I want to see. Bouncing bullets that will please me. <laughs> oh, let's freaking do it. I still have no keys, by the way, and there's four high quality chests on this floor. Probably should have avoided opening anything on the last on the last floor, okay? You know what, you got me. You know, now that we've seen it in action, I do in fact wish that we had not opened up three blue chests on the chamber four. <laughs> but hey, you know what, you, you can't, you can't change the past. You can only change the future. The more you know, day. Already breaking into the Christmas music. Is that Christmas music? I actually don't even know. Sometimes words just come out of my mouth. Dude, 30 shots? Let's make it an even 31. Kill this guy? That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Look, chicken, I'm sorry. Dear Nunu, welcome, how are you doing? Rubber bullet magic trick clipped by a strange med. I'll have to look at it when I'm done here, but uh, if there was a, a weird bullet that just kind of disappeared, then I don't know. Maybe the game thought that he was too close to me and he had to leave. You're still stunned, huh? Oh my god. All right, well, you know what? We got no keys, so... Sorry, ch What? <laughs> That's like the best thing you can get out of a red chest. That's insanely good. We got Holy Grail out of a broken red chest. I mean, like, I understand the theory behind it because it's a brown level item, but that's just, that's absurd. A strange Med just says, this outcome is satisfying to me. It's great. Now I actually do have infinite ammo and I don't need no stinking turkeys anymore. Oh no, I got hit. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I didn't realize I had to worry about ammo on this run. So now I can just like fire at will and not care. God, that's so good. Hey, a bottle. Maybe I'll get lucky and we can put a, a gun fairy in a bottle. Empty vessels, what? Hold on, empty vessel, I gotta look this one up. I've never seen this. Empty vessels. Gungeon. If the player has Holy Grail, if damage is taken while the bottle is empty, it feel, fills with a purple soul that does 100 damage to all enemies on the room on use. Okay, so if I get hit, I have like an instant use Necronomicon. I don't know, seems pretty good. Sounds pretty awesome. So, uh, you know, I'll just use guns for a little while until I run out of ammo and then pop some damage and then, you know, get like a cool 100 damage to all enemies in a room item. 
instant use. I can actually open a chest too. <laughs> so there's, I think, stun familiar, maybe blank familiar, doesn't matter. They're all good. All right, I think what we're gonna do now is let, okay, I was gonna walk into one of those bullets, but you know what, I guess is, this is not my time to go. Stop saving my life, Mr. Blank Man. I just want to die. Okay, we're probably just gonna take damage here just normally anyways. Well, I guess if we didn't have table deck stun. Okay, hurt me. Then space bar. Sweet. It's uh, soul orb or whatever that item is called. Life orb, no, uh... It's whatever the, whatever the, the, the bad beam gun is. I think it's life orb, actually, now that I think about it. It's the same sound effect of that, and that seems pretty good. That's like, that's like a really good synergy. You get some use out of your bottle if you don't have anything in the bottle. Dude, that's great, that's grand. Oh no, I got hit. <laughs> Johnny 404, welcome, how are you doing? You know what? I will use my bottle, because why not? That's what it's there for. Stop tactically refilling ammo you don't need anymore. I need more ammo. I also like using the bottle because it's a new thing. It's new to me anyways. I guess you also don't want to just have something in your bottle if you're not using it. Like HP you should leave on the ground until you need to put it in your bottle because if you put it in your bottle, you can't get your bottle charged. I mean, it's kind of exactly what I wanted out of it. Just make the bullets go everywhere. Whoa, no! Well, you know what? Eat it. That's a complicated reload sound effect. Maybe that's what makes it so satisfying, because you, you're using a big gun, fires bombs, and it goes chuk -a -puk -a -chuk whenever you reload it. You think that's why? I should just let the chicken take all of that. <laughs> Sheriff of Nightmore says, yay, I finally connected my account to my com pooper. Your uh, Twitch account, I would imagine. Nice, nice. It's been a pretty good run. <laughs> Everything's been going just fine. Some pretty cool synergies that we've seen, including uh, one that I, I don't think I've ever seen that bottle synergy before, so I'm glad to have it. I'm glad to see it. The Lich is dead. We had some pretty good stuff on that run. 
And uh, a lucky holy grail kept the ammo coming because we were about to run out of ammo going down to bullet hell. So I'm very glad that we were able to get that. Holy grail and the bottle, floor after floor. I should, you know, one floor after the other. To get that cool synergy, very nice, very nice. And for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.